So this problem here, we the population grows continuously, so we know we're going to use the formula. It says, how long does it take to grow from 30 to 800? So I'm going to set this up. My end amount of 800 is equal to the starting amount of 30 times E, our growth rate, our continuous growth rate is 7%, and we need to solve for time. <clears throat> so in this case, we're going to need to use a log to solve this. So first thing is, I'm going to divide 800 by 30. So I get 80 over 3 when I simplify this. I now have an exponential growth, an exponential expression, where I have a base, an argument, and an exponent. So then I put this into the log form. So log base e of the argument, which is the answer to the exponential expression, is equal to the exponent, 0 0.07 times t. So then I can solve this. I'm going to, first of all, log and use the base e log, so ln button, I get 3.283. Okay, so make sure that you can that you're using this button correctly. You should check that value. And then I can solve for the time by dividing by 0 0.07. So I end up with 46.905 or 91 years. Okay, so for it to grow from 30 to 800 <coughs> at a 7% growth rate, it's going to take about 47 years. So here, we want to find the continuous growth rate of Bitcoin. So from 2017 to 2022, it grew from 1350 per coin to about $53,000 per coin. So we have the end amount. 53,000, we have our starting amount, 1350, and we have our continuous growth rate. In this case, we don't know the rate, but we know the time happened in five-year period. Okay, so in a five-year period, it grew from 1350 to $53,000. So then again, I'm going to solve for the, the exponential. So I'm going to do 53,000 divided by 1350, and I end up with, uh, as a simplified fraction, it's going to be 1060 over 27, which is about 39.25. That's e to the 5r. I want to solve this. I want to solve the exponent, so I'm going to take the log. My argument is the answer to the log, or sorry, the answer to the exponent, and that's going to equal the exponent, 5r. So plugging this into my calculator, log of that number is going to give me about 3.670. That's equal to 5 times my rate. So the rate of growth of Bitcoin, the continuous rate of growth, so I divide that by 5, the continuous growth rate for Bitcoin ends up being about 73.4%, okay, which is a very uh, large growth rate for uh, an investment.